Okay everyone, welcome to my video. Uh, my name is Chris. Today I plan on making a video that's short, concise, to the point. Um, no noise in the background hopefully except for my cat who gets loud and talks to himself. Today we are going to be looking at what I have is a ThinkPad X240. And I originally had Windows 7 on here and I upgraded them to Windows 8 Pro and then Windows 10. Now on this device I have the Intel Core i7 4600U CPU at about 2.69 gigahertz with 8 gigs of RAM 64-bit operating system so on and so forth. It's a touch screen okay. So what I want to tell you is when I first uh, was on Windows uh, 7, Windows 8 um, the wide eye or the um, wireless display which it was called um, back then which it's no longer referred to uh, according to Intel um, and now they call it the Miracast they call it um, it wasn't working not until down the road when I updated to Windows 10 and now I'm running Windows 10 on here and if you're not running Windows 10 you should be running Windows 10 um, what did I do? What changes did I make? Well, let's look at this for example. What adapter am I running in terms of the network adapter? Okay, so I'm running the dual band wireless AC7260, which does in fact uh, support these um, types of technologies we're looking at, which is the wide eye. And ignore me for saying the wide eye right now, but um, you know the Ultrabook on the TV has a wireless display. And what does a wireless display mean? Well, watch your PC or Ultrabook content instantly without wires on the big HD screen with stunning image, clarity, sound. An Intel wireless display gives you a series of serious entertainment upgrade and blah blah blah. It allows you to clone your screen to your TV and vice versa and to extend your screen onto your monitor without using wires. Historically I would keep my um, laptop next to say two screens that were larger and I would hook up HDMI and VGA and so on and so forth. With wireless display you do not need to do that. Now how do you know if you have it on your laptop and on your TV? So what I am using is nothing fancy, nothing crazy. I'm using a Samsung H6350 series 55 inch glass full HD smart LED TV. I bought this several years ago, um, maybe two. It's a full HD 1920 by 1080 LED panel. Um, I'll try and bring it up for you. But it is by means nothing special and nothing out there. I even didn't even make sure it had um, the important thing that I was looking for. So um, this is the manufacturer number and uh, so on and so forth. It has built in Wi Fi and full web browser capabilities. So I will actually connect my wireless keyboard and wireless mouse and I will use it as a screen um, and so on. As a smart TV, it has built-in Wi-Fi, as we said, for accessing Samsung's app-based smart hub and allows you to explore streaming multimedia like Netflix and Hulu and so on. It even allows you to wirelessly share content between your TV and portable devices with integrated all-share technology. Now, Samsung and LG and everybody else calls their... Um, means of this wireless display uh, something different a lot of times okay so you may hear uh, LG call it one thing Sony another thing and Samsung another thing okay but um, when we look at the TV you will see that um, the TV clearly shows it's wireless so we're going through the wireless okay we're projecting to a wireless display okay now remember there is Bluetooth on these wireless adapters as well so sound is transmitted 
as well as video. Okay? There's also something called direct link and so on and so forth. So, but let's focus on seeing if we can connect this computer to the TV. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be showing you two screens. I'm going to be recording the TV as well. All right, and we're going to look at what's on the TV and look at what's on the screen here. But first off, let's look at a couple things with the Samsung, the All Share, the Wi-Fi Direct. This is what it says on here on the Wi-Fi Direct. All Share allows you to wirelessly access and share videos, photos, music, PC, tablet, camera, mobile device with your smart TV. Screen mirroring is, you know, turn your phone, computer, or tablet into a second TV. I'm not interested in that. Um, so this was something I downloaded. Um, I made sure I had the most recent, up-to-date, uh, network adapter software from Lenovo ThinkPad and this was a Lenovo USB graphics uh, display link software and this here is what I'm running as I told you nothing spectacular several years old okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to turn on my TV which is a Samsung and it's not 3d it's not 4k it's not any special. The only thing in fact that's special about it is how I have it set up. All of my boxes are downstairs in my data center and we run our video signal HDMI over CAT6. It's all hidden back there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the TV And again, I'm sorry about the noise. That's my nutty cat. You can go watch some of his videos too. He's a nut job. He's a freaking animal. But he's fun, I'll tell you that. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on. Smart TV. We're smart. Yes. I'm going to choose source. I'm just going to go. I'm going to go here, okay? And I'm going to go. And I'm going to select menu. This guy's loud, man. Likes to talk to me. On my TV, I'm going to go to network. And what do you see? Interestingly, Wi-Fi Direct. Okay, so I'm already connected to the network. Network settings. Wi-Fi Direct. So using Wi-Fi Direct, you can connect directly with other devices without using a wireless router. So the first step is to try this, to try and connect. Now, what if you can't connect? Well, there's something you can do, and that's what I'm going to show you on my laptop. And what I want you to do on the laptop, as you can see here, is I want you to do this. I want you to hit the Win and R key. It's going to open up a run dialog. And then I want you to hit OK. It's going to open up something here. And you'll see this. I want you to then save all information, okay? Save all information. And then I want you to look and see if your Windows 10 PC supports Miracast using DirectX Diagnostic Tool. So I'm going to save all information to my desktop. And I'm going to exit, and I'm going to open up this, and I'm going to look, and I'm going to see Miracast available with D, sorry, with HDCP. I say to myself, what is HDCP? Well, HDCP, fairly simple. Basically, that stands for the High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection. It's a copy protection scheme to eliminate the possibility of inner accepting digital data uh, midstream between the source to the display. So the format designed by Intel and licensed by Digital Content Protection LLC using authentication and key exchange procedure before video and audio is presented. So basically why is it important? Well, because you need to make sure that the device that's getting the video is able to accept it. It needs to be able to have a handshake. Kind of like we know what it is. It's encrypted, okay? So on my computer, 
It's available with HDCP. And my TV here is HDCP enabled. Okay? So now what I'm going to do on my TV and on my screen here is I'm going to go to the start here and I am going to go to settings. And this is fairly new because I really didn't see it here before. But you see this connect to a wireless display. And you'll see the search here. And you'll see the TV Samsung LED 55 display. And I can go to menu over here. Okay. And I can go down to network. Alright. And I can go to Wi-Fi direct. And we'll click on that. And it's searching. And I'm going to click on my laptop here and I'm going to double click that. And it's going to say follow instructions on my TV Samsung LED. And it says, do you want to connect? Accept? Okay, I accept. Connecting to ThinkPad X240. Connected. Connecting to ThinkPad X240. This is by a screen mirroring. Let's see what happens here. It says loading. We're loading. And it's asking me over here, what a law. So what do we got here? We have screen one and screen two. So let's manipulate the screen over here. All right, and see what happens. Well, there we go. Okay. So, we have connected Wi-Fi. This is the wireless display. And the interesting thing is that we're able to capture audio as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my own audio so I don't um, go ahead and break any um, copyright uh, laws here. And I'm going to go to one of my one of my videos. Um, my late brother who had passed uh, was a excellent piano player. So what we'll do is we'll go and just uh, play one of his. Okay. Um, and I'm going to show you the audio, how it travels over this wireless display. Okay. Of course, you can see my cat messing around too, but who wants to hear him anymore? Because he's just nuts. You can hear him out there. You can also go to my um, my library. And we can go to my brother here. And you can see here. We'll play this. And this audio is coming through my TV, and it's also wireless, and it's on my computer. Here's a little poem I wrote for one of my brother's songs. So, I thank you for watching this quick video tutorial on this is the ThinkPad X240, and this is the Samsung TV, and we're showing the wireless display, no wires attached, and we have an external TV from Samsung. Make sure 
that you have Miracast with HDCP capable. And that is the end, and thank you.